Hey, what's up guys? Today we're gonna talk about DPS Ganyu, who is actually insane. DPS Ganyu is so good and I can't wait to show you guys uh, how I use her, how to play her, and just show you the damage she deals. So I've had a ton of fun learning her on stream, testing everything out, uh, and researching her extensively, so I am ready to now bring you guys this guide. We're gonna go over best artifacts, weapons, comps, uh, and a DPS showcase, we're gonna do everything. You guys saw in the intro clips, my Ganyu does a ton of damage, and yes, I brought her to Abyss to see how much damage she could deal, crit over 100k with just one shot, but she is a DPS, so she'll be doing a lot of damage uh, just with every single charge shot, it's pretty crazy. So yeah, definitely an amazing cryo DPS, charge shot DPS. She's tons of fun, guys, uh, and I will be making a Ganyu support video tomorrow or in two days, so stay tuned for that if you do want to see Ganyu support. Last thing before I start, I'm going to try to keep this short. I do stream almost every night on Twitch, so come follow me if you want. Link in the description. Also, my friend Alexi uh, helped me do the math on this and calculate everything. He's just like a genius, so go follow him on Twitch if you want to. Shout out to him. All right, let's get right into it. So since Ganyu just came out and this is a guide slash build, I do really want to take some time to go over her talent so you guys fully understand how to play her. So the main reason she works main DPS is because of her normal attack of how good her charge shot is. Now her charge shot has two levels, just a normal charge shot and a frost flake arrow. As you guys can see, it charges up once and then charges up again and then it'll uh, do AoE damage. It'll shoot and then it'll shoot again. So let me show you guys why her charge shot is so good. When you charge it fully, it'll do two shots basically. It'll shoot and then hit again. And see how much damage that was? It scales with um, like your wanders and stuff because it counts as like a charge shot. Even the bloom damage does scale with that. Uh, and it does do AoE damage, the second hit. So watch this, boom. And even if you miss the first hit, the second hit will still explode, dealing damage to everyone. And obviously if you hit the first hit, uh, it'll be two hits on the main target and then uh, more hits on, the, on other enemies. And as you guys can see in AoE areas, her charge shot, Boom, it does so much damage and it really, really adds up. But yeah, overall, very high scaling and it does a ton, a ton of AoE damage. Like it, against a single target, Ganyu is good, but against multiple enemies, she's amazing. It's literally like Child's Riptide where it does a ton of damage to everyone. Uh, but for Ganyu, it's just really nice. Her elemental skill is pretty good. Uh, it's not amazing, but the, the scaling is not bad, especially for level six, and it generates a bunch of particles. And what it does is it also taunts enemies. So you put it in front of a bunch of enemies, it'll taunt them, they'll all go to it. You can uh, then just use your time to shoot them, charge attack, whatever. And it's really nice because you are vulnerable when you charge shot. So having that time uh, basically to charge up without enemies attacking you is very nice. Her elemental burst is Celestial Shower, which is honestly insane. It is so, so good. I was scared that this would be random, but I'm gonna show you guys how it works. And the, the, the arrows that fall from the sky are not random. They actually like, a lot of them will spawn on enemies and other shards won't hit, but there are some that just always hit enemies. And if there are a lot of enemies, it'll hit each enemy and it'll be AOE. So it'll just stack a ton, a ton of damage. I'll show you guys this in a second, but also the scaling is pretty nice because hundred percent per shard and there are gonna be multiple, multiple shards. So it adds up to a ton of damage. Now I wanna show you how your ult works. Uh, it is really efficient against multiple enemies and it is worse against a single target. So let me just use it right here. As you can see, when there's one target, it still does a decent amount of damage, right? 4,000, 4,000, and the, the ice shards do seek out enemies. Some of them are random or spawn in like set locations, whatever, but some of them will seek out enemies. Now I'm gonna show you guys how it works against a lot of enemies. So I'll let them all come here. Then when I press my Q, you'll see it's gonna do a ton of AOE damage. All these shards are gonna stack up and deal damage to everyone. Look at that. And then if I pair it with my charge attacks, this is just insane DPS. Also, if you pair with a Pyro and a, a Nemo support, and Venti's the best, but Sucrose can work too, you can get a Pyro Swirl, right? So I'll get this Swirl in, and I'll look at how fast everyone's gonna die. Like I just use my Ganyu ult, and the damage it deals in there is insane. And this works as support and DPS, but uh, this video is mainly DPS, but I'm just showing you guys how her abilities work. Uh, and if you are running her DPS, you can spam these charge shots while the ult is active, and if not, you can swap to another character. And I am Constellation Zero because I did not invest in Bitcoin. But keep in mind that her C1 is very nice for a DPS Ganyu. And uh, in general, her Constellations are pretty good, especially like C6, but you don't need them to play her. Obviously, I do a ton of damage with C0 Ganyu. Now we're gonna talk about Ganyu's artifacts, the sets that she wants, and we'll also talk about artifact stats and all that good stuff. Now just keep in mind that your build can vary depending on your party comp, but I'll give you guys general guidelines and talk more about that in the party setup section. Uh, but in general, the best set on her for late game, for if you can get it, is the four piece Wanders. Now, if you guys don't know, Four Piece Wanderers increases your charge attack damage by 35% uh, for bow users, which is insane. And Elemental Mastery is also nice in like a melt comp or if you're just, you know, using Ganyu's ice arrows to proc reactions. The main reason why this is good and why I wasn't sure if it was going to be good on release is because of the way her bloom works. Basically, when you charge her charge shot all the way, you know how there's two hits? Well, this actually scales on both hits. I've tested it like a hundred times to make sure the charge attack damage increase works on the charge shot and the second hit, uh, like the bloom. So it is very, very good. Definitely the best set on her. 
However, Wanders is very hard to farm. Like personally, I'm AR 55 and I don't have a good Wander set. Like none of my sands are attack. I just don't have a good Wander set, so I can't run it, which is why uh, I resort to other sets, which is what we're going to be talking about. So another good option if you don't have Wanders uh, is a two piece Blizzard Strayer, which gives a nice amount of crowd bonus. 15% crowd damage, very, very good. And then you can run that with another two piece. Two piece Glad is good and is usually the best two piece to pair with the Crow set. Uh, however, if you are using Bennett because of diminishing returns on the attack that his ult gives you, uh, two piece Wanders can be better. But, but you know, two piece Glad, if you have it in general, is usually the way to go. Uh, and if you don't have two piece Glad, uh, two piece Noblesse can work too. So there are definitely some sets you can pair with a two-piece cryo that are good and make her a good DPS without wanders. Like this whole video I record without wanders and I still do crazy amounts of damage. If you are running a freeze comp with Mona or Sing Cho, uh, if you do normal attacks in between your charge attacks, we'll talk about that later, then you can run the four-piece Blizzard Strayer, but keep in mind this is only good in a freeze comp. So you wanna be running, as I said, Mona or Sing Chu, but overall for regular comps, wanders is definitely the best for her. Uh, or you can run two-piece Blizzard Strayer with two-piece Glad or two-piece Noblesse. And obviously in the early game, you can run something like two-piece Berserker or if you get two-piece Glad, whatever, but uh, definitely try to move towards four Wander or the two-piece Crow set whenever you can. All right, now we're gonna talk about the stats you want on your artifacts. So for most charge shot DPSs, like if you're running Amber or whatever, you might think that you don't need a crit rate, right? For most charge shots, you aim at the weak point, you hit and it always crits, right? You aim, you get a headshot, whatever, it'll always do a crit. Now that's not true for Ganyu because yes, you're, you know, your aim shot will still crit, but your second hit, your bloom, which does do more damage, right? You can see the scaling, 305 versus 179. That second hit doesn't always crit, even if your initial hit crits, even if your initial hit uh, is on an, a weak spot. So because of that, crit rate is actually good and actually important on Ganyu. And you do want to be maximizing both crit rate and crit damage. So what this looks like is you go for substats that are crit rate, crit damage, uh, energy recharge is okay as well, it is nice on her, and attack percent uh, is good. So for your sands, you definitely want attack percent for DPS Ganyu. For your goblet, cryo damage is a must. Like I can't stress this enough, a cryo damage goblet with bad substats is better than like attack percent with good substats. So definitely go for cryo damage goblet uh, if you can, because all of her damage is cryo damage. For circlet, either crit rate or crit damage. Uh, go whichever one you need, but when you ascend Ganyu, she does gain crit damage, so by default you should have a lot, uh, and I run a crit damage weapon, so uh, I run a crit rate circlet with a crit damage substat, very very nice. So basically just crit rate or crit damage depending on what you need, they're both good. And you guys always ask to see my attributes, so here they are. Also, one thing I want to add is, since, as I mentioned earlier, uh, it is very hard to get a good uh, wander set, since a boss costs 40 resin to loot, and on top of that, you're not guaranteed a 5-star till AR 55. So even me, an AR 55 player, doesn't have a good set. You need to know the importance of substats, and honestly, uh, if you do have a 4-piece wanders that has terrible substats, or even just like, okay substats that aren't great, um, having like perfect subsets or really good subsets on a two-piece cryo with another two-piece like Glad or Noblesse can actually out DPS it because uh, subsets are pretty huge as you guys can see. So keep that in mind, Wanders is the best, but if you can't farm it, if you have bad ones, it is okay to run a two cryo set with another two-piece set like two Gladiator. Now we're going to talk about weapons on Ganyu. A strong suit of Ganyu is that she's very free to play friendly, obviously if you do pull her, because her best four star weapon is actually the prototype Crescent. Now there are other good options that I will talk to you guys about uh, if you like don't have a prototype or if you use your only one or whatever, but in general, prototype Crescent is the best four star bow on her because most enemies have weak points, right? Just like not slimes. Um, and this attack bonus, which does go up with your refinement is pretty huge. Once you do a single uh, charge attack on a weak point, which you're gonna be doing as DPS Ganyu. And on top of that, the stat that it gives you is attack percent, which is very, very nice. So the other good options like Blacklift Warbow and like Verdescent Hunt are good. And you can use if, um, you, as I said, you don't have any like prototypes. Uh, and there are three stars that are okay, but much worse like Sharpshooter's Oath or Messenger, which you can get from like chests and stuff. But overall guys, uh, the Prototype Crescent is just like the best, not only free to play weapon, but the best four star weapon for Ganyu. Um, and it's only bad in like certain situations and like Abyss Wars where there's just slimes and stuff like that. Her best weapons though are obviously five stars. Amos Bow is the best uh, for DPS. Harp is good too but Amos is better for charge shot DPS and Harp is better for support Ganyu but that's not what we're going to be talking about in this video. I will be making a support Ganyu guide uh, like tomorrow or in two days so stay tuned for that. All right now we're going to talk about party comps and like the teams you should be using with Ganyu and there's a lot a lot of good options but this is a really important section because there are many ways to play her uh, and as I said many good supports. Now first of all I just want to say Venti is like the best support for Ganyu. Now he's really good in general but he's so good with Ganyu because as you guys saw earlier 
Uh, Ganyu does a lot of AoE damage and spawns icicles for like enemies. So when there's a bunch clumped up, she'll, there'll be a bunch of icicles dealing a bunch of AoE damage and the damage of Venti and Ganyu together is insane. Anima supports in general are pretty good. Sucrose is really good. Uh, the only problem is her ultimate is shorter than Venti, but it is good if you run it with Ganyu and like a Zhangling or something. And Animo MC can work too. So I would recommend running an Animo support on Verdescent with Ganyu. Now, as you guys know, Pyro is amazing with Cryo. And for Ganyu, you can either choose to focus on Melt or not, but either way, I would recommend at least a Pyro support uh, being either Shang Ling, which you can get for free, or Bennett. Bennett is really good because, you know, he buffs your damage, he heals you, and he can also apply Pyro, but he doesn't apply Pyro very fast, so you will only get like, you know, a few Melts off with him, but uh, he still heals and buffs your damage. Shang Ling is a good Pyro support for Melt comps, like if you are trying to Melt on Ganyu, and if you guys don't know, Melt... Uh, on Pyro doubles your damage, but on Cryo, like if your Cryo character is melting, it will multiply her damage by 1.5 times. So it is nice for Ganyu, although it isn't as good as for Pyro characters. So because of that, running her with Shang Ling, with her Pyro Nado, combining that with Ganyu's uh, ultimate, will let Ganyu proc melt a lot. So without making this too complicated, you do ideally want your Ganyu to be the one that's melting because of her high damage. So what you can do is you can run an Nemo support with a Pyro support. So you afflict enemies with Pyro, uh, use your ultimate, Make sure that is swirling pyro and then Ganyu's ultimate will just constantly melt, deal a ton of cryo damage, melting on every hit. Uh, same with her charge shots. So Shang Ling is very good with Ganyu and Bennett is also a good healer uh, and a pyro character. So this is a comp that I was running. Uh, it is very nice. You can also replace Bennett with like another healer if you want. Double cryo gives you crit rate, uh, but I am running this double pyro comp for now. Another viable comp is a freeze comp with four piece uh, cryo set. Now, in order to run this, you would ideally want Mona as your Hydro support, but you can run it with Sing Chu if you don't have Mona. Now, Mona is obviously better, uh, but Sing Chu can work. You just have to make sure to normal attack between your charge shots because, uh, and I'll show you guys this in a clip in a second, but in order to proc Sing Chu's rain swords, uh, you do need to be normal attacking, so charge attacks don't work. So for Ganyu, as you guys will see in the clip, you have to charge shot, then normal attack, then charge shot, then normal attack, and so on and so forth. So yeah, for most players, I'd recommend running her with an Anemo support. Obviously, Venti if you have them. If not, Sucrose and Anemo MC can work very well, especially if you pair them with a Pyro support as well. Not only infusing your ultimate with Pyro, making it constantly uh, apply Pyro, but also uh, letting your Ganyu melt on like every hit of her ultimate. Keep in mind that the Pyro resonance is very good, uh, and so is the Cryo resonance if you have another Cryo character. All right, guys, now we're going to do the DPS showcase to show you guys just how OP Ganyu is. And keep in mind, I'm using a suboptimal weapon, level 80 Blackcliff. Uh, without wanders. I'll be doing the damage in like random domains and just against random enemies uh, and I will be including an Abyss 11 clear somewhere in here because Abyss 11 is like the hardest Abyss for right now and it does give you cryo damage bonus so keep that in mind. I won't be using food or anything for all these clips except for one clip against the plant just to show off some damage. All right let's go. Oh my god, dude! <laughs> it's so much damage! Oh, but then he swirls me up. I honestly think Noblesse, well for this stuff Noblesse is better obviously, but Noblesse is so bad. <laughs> I'm gonna 
mouth hit the computer. Ooh, that was a lot of damage. <laughs> I need the charger shot without dying. So much damage, dude. Alright, so now we're just going to do Abyss Floor 11. It does give you a cryo buff, uh, but it is also the hardest Abyss Floor, so I just want to clear it, see how good Ganyu is in it, uh, if she's good or not here. Let's go. Okay, maybe I'm uh, I don't want to use alts. I just, I'll use Bennett. Dude, like, what is this damage? Like, what if I freeze them though? Ooh, wait, maybe they're not annoying for Ganyu. Like, doing this though, Dante Health is. Okay, cool. This is taking longer than it should. Oh! <laughs> Not bad. 113k. So yeah, overall guys, Ganyu is an amazing charge shot DPS. A very good burst damage is just an insanely good uh, cryo DPS. And I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. It took me so long to make, but hey, it's worth it because I had to test a lot of things. Wanted to make sure everything I say was correct. And I hope you guys enjoyed. If there's any updates to this video or anything, it'll be in a pinned comment, so be sure to check that out. Come follow me on Twitch if you haven't already, and I really hope this guide was helpful. Subscribe if you want to, if you don't, that's okay too, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.